let's jump right into our headline topic for the day, which is, of course, that Alex managed to get the VP of Windows Platform and Services on the phone to go over some of our concerns about Windows Modern Standby. First of all, I want to give Microsoft credit because on the one hand, yeah, they've clearly sat on ass on this issue for, well, years at this point. But on the other hand, now that we have raised it as a problem, now that the community has spoken and made their voices heard that this is a problem that affects them day to day, they appear to be taking it really seriously. So let's start with kind of Alex's interview um, and go from there. First, Alex asked, why is S3 sleep being removed from the BIOS of laptops? Oh, no, we should give the people a bit of a, a catch you up if you didn't yeah. catch the original video. Did you watch the video? No. Okay, so Windows Modern Standby, or S0 Sleep, is a connected type of sleep that is meant to replace the traditional S3 Sleep. It's supposed to be connected, more power efficient, and generally a boon. Uh, it's been brought about in no small part by Intel's push for a more smartphone-like experience on Windows laptops. Uh, the problem is that a lot of the time when the machine is sleeping, I mean, I'm sure you've encountered this. Have oh, you yeah. ever come to your laptop, found it to be piping hot with a dead battery after you folded it and put it in your bag? Yes. I also have like, I'll try to put my desktop to sleep. All right, and... Separate issue. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. want to talk okay. about that okay. for now. Uh, oh, oh I, I left it in the camera den. Um, <clears throat> so... We basically came out and said, we think we figured this out. Uh, we think it's to do with some kind of, it seems like high performance machines are disproportionately affected. So it's, it's something that the machine can be churning away on while it's supposed to be sleeping. We figured out that by disabling the network connected aspect of this type of sleep on a okay. Mac, we were, able to, we were able to get rid of that behavior, which we have also seen on a Mac not even an Intel Mac, right? Interesting. Okay. So it's just it's just a weird it's a weird quirk of of this type of sleep state. Um, and we basically made a video calling out Microsoft saying, "Hey, this has been a problem for literally years. This cannot be because you already suffer from worse battery life compared to your main competitor, Apple, who is gaining market share in the mobile computer space." You've got to deal with this because it, it, it is it's killing the experience Absolutely. of using a Windows laptop. Yeah. Like I talked to someone like Jake and I'm sitting here and I'm sorry, you charge your laptop like once a week. That's impossible for me because half the time I go to grab my laptop, it feels it's probably not half, but it, it feels like every time I go to grab my bloody laptop, I might as well flip a coin for whether I'm going to have any battery if left. If you go all. somewhere without a cable, you might as well not even brought the laptop. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So... We were trying to light a fire at Microsoft, and it seems like it worked. So the first thing Alex asked was, why is S3 Sleep being removed from the BIOS of laptops? Because that's the problem, is you couldn't even just say, look, I don't want S0, I want S3, when there's this industry move towards eliminating S3. So here's the answer. Microsoft is moving away from S3 Sleep because how each device goes to be because how each device goes to sleep is controlled by that device's firmware. That means for a device to sleep properly, the firmware needs to be updated and maintained by the company that made said device. And as you can probably guess, that doesn't happen all the time. Big problem with Windows being put on so many different things. Mm -hmm. By using S0 sleep instead, Microsoft has more control over sleep and has a much higher success rate of everything going to sleep properly and waking up properly compared to S3 sleep. And I have to admit, I was wondering too, well, what was the problem with S3 sleep? But then again, I also know, back to your desktop comment, that there are plenty of problems <laughs> with S3 sleep. Yeah. Like, say, for example, disabling wake on mouse or wake on keyboard in the BIOS and yet having it magically wake up if you so much as bump your mouse anyway yeah. or just wake up randomly. Yeah. Right. I had this thing for a while where I had to put it to sleep three times every time. Ugh. It would just wake back up again like five minutes later and then I could finally get it to go down. And I had a lot of people comment on this video. Why don't you just shut down your computer? Why don't you just shut down your computer? If it's an advertised feature of the product... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get to complain about me complaining about it. 
That is a problem. That is objectively a problem, and I don't want to hear it. So, f so what? You f***ing turn off your computer. I don't give a shit. But if the computer is supposed to go to sleep, I am well within my right to expect that it will go to sleep. Okay? It's like a child, right? The child is supposed to go to sleep. So if it doesn't go to sleep, well, you're well within your right to yell at it and shake it. <laughs> Obviously kidding. Obviously kidding. I'm trying to legal advice. I'm trying to make it so that people don't take me too seriously gotcha. when I'm going all gotcha. ranty because some gotcha. people can't tell the difference. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anyway. I, I also think sometimes it's like the backing into parking spaces thing. Like you might have a lot of time when you are done using said device, but you might know that the next time that you have to start using it, you're going to need to use it quickly, but you don't want to just let it sit there running the whole time. And I get so you want that it to sleep. I get that your needs might not be the same as mine, but that doesn't make them the only valid needs. That too. And I'm not saying that your way shouldn't be supported. That's the thing. I'm not saying, well, everyone we should, should sleep. Shut down. Yeah, you shouldn't shut down. I'm saying you should be able to do both. We should have choice. I made RAM. It was so cool. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I can't... Did we just lose power? Yep. How much UPS do we have over here? Okay. Uh, we, need to, we need to get power from the main server room UPS. Let's freaking go. Uh, we have three minutes. Okay, how much? Uh, okay, uh, Luke, entertain the people. Okay, uh, uh, I don't think we're live, though. Sing a song. We're live. We are live. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. No, yeah, we're back. Hello. Hi. Uh, it is nighttime on the WAN show now with Luke. How's it going? Dan, uh, who usually sits back there behind the TV, which I guess you guys don't see, but it's also behind the camera, uh, pretty much said three minutes, got up and ran, uh, and Linus also got up and ran. We have lost power. Uh, both of them are off trying to solve the problem. One to do because there are no notes for it in the doc. Oh, hello. Yeah, should we turn this off? Yeah, just go for it. You're fine. There's extreme circumstances. Yeah, we can just have a night when show. It's fine and stand by. Uh, I think where we left off was uh, we lost power, so we are running on battery right now, which is freaking mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, Dan, you're going to have to kind of check in on some of those UPSs that are yelling, maybe silence some alarms. Uh, we'll blow through here, and then Jake is on his way back to figure out how to turn off the disk shelves, so we'll be able to salvage as much battery out of the main server room UPS as we can. In the meantime, the final reason to use S0 sleep rather than S3 sleep is that it helps with security since Windows is in control of the device at all times. So Alex's next big question for Microsoft was, well, what is being done about all of this? Um, and honestly, their answer kind of makes sense. Figuring out what's going on with Windows Modern Standby is very difficult since the problems are what they kind of call Heisenbergs aka if you observe them the state changes a lot of telemetry is turned off during sleep as you can probably imagine to reduce power consumption but this also means if you turn on said telemetry tools while the laptop is sleeping well the state of the test has changed yeah which is pretty frustrating from a troubleshooting standpoint yeah they have looked into the situation that we described, where a laptop doesn't properly go into disconnected sleep when you unplug it while it is sleeping. On some devices, hey, Gold Star LTT, this does appear to be a problem, and they are looking into a fix. Cool. But they said that it is only one of many potential ways for modern standby to f*** up. So basically, if we want this problem to go away, Microsoft needs a ton of data about when and why laptops aren't sleeping correctly. Is YouTube still unlisted for the live stream? Uh, I can see what I can do. While he looks into that really quickly, I also wanted to make sure that I brought up uh, that I some people in chat seem to think that we ended discussing the Micron tour. Oh, okay. Where are we left off with the Micron tour? Right! So, I get that, you know, you might not consider uh, sleep to be a big deal. But that piece of content, I promise you, doesn't exist without sleep. 
It's because of the way I have to write a video like that. I don't, oh, I, don't, I, don't yeah. have, I don't have the luxury of having someone go figure everything out and brief me. I'm, I'm just me. Yeah. I'm there. I'm by myself. Yeah. Sometimes as little as six or seven hours. In the case of the Micron tour, I had about 13 hours on site. That was it to see everything, write everything, host everything, uh, direct any B-roll that I wanted gathered. That's all I got, right? Yeah. So if I'm not able to quickly sleep my machine, know that my battery is being preserved, land at a new place, quickly whip it out, uh, put it on whatever the nearest object is and start typing, I'm going to miss stuff. You're not going to get that level of detail. And so, sure, fine. Yeah, I get it. It might not matter to you, but it matters to me, and therefore you, a lot. That piece of content doesn't happen if I can't rely on a machine to have ample battery life and not just flawlessly, but quickly go in and out of sleep because yeah. I'll yeah. miss things. Like you got to understand, normal people don't understand the video production process and why would they? They don't do it, right? So they don't understand that if they start talking before my screen is up and my keyboard is out, Nothing they're saying matters. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, 100%. You know that you can only absorb so much information in, you know, one 10 hour, 14 hour, however long it is session and have any possible hope of retaining it. Yeah. So if I don't write it down, it does not exist. Yeah. Um, okay. Especially when you're like on like pump and dump memory. Exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the third question that Alex asked, what should you do? Well, here it is. When modern standby problems happen to someone within LMG, we've been given a direct line to report bugs to the Windows platform and services team. The process for us is as follows. When we find a laptop burning hot and dead, we go to command prompt as an admin and type in power CGF slash sleep study, okay? This creates a zip file with all the battery data from our computer for the last while. Um, oh, uh, Alex asks, maybe do this on your computer now to demonstrate. Yeah, I don't really see why not. Ooh, I didn't launch as an admin. Uh, let's just make sure everything here is okay to show. Yeah, I think so, Linus laptop, here we go. Okay, so I'm going in, CMD. I am doing this the noob way, run as administrator, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go power C, CFG uh, whoop, 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 slash sleep study. This is not my favorite keyboard. Boop. Okay, sleep study report saved to file path, whatever. Okay, we're able to forward this log directly to Microsoft so they can hopefully figure out what's going on. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft can't give everyone on the planet a direct line to their team, but... By reporting bugs, we can hopefully get them more data to figure things out. So here are the steps. The feedback hub is the best way to provide detailed feedback on issues to the Windows engineering team. The tool gathers detailed logs and can run additional diagnostics to help them diagnose and fix issues. So if you launch the feedback hub, got some screenshots here. Yeah. Yep. And give your feedback a relevant title. Okay. My computer battery is draining while it's asleep. Click report a problem then provide more information on the specific issue. Any additional details are valuable. Okay, next choose power and battery and sleep. Selecting the right area is important because it goes to the appropriate engineering team. As you can imagine, Microsoft's a pretty big company, right? You can't just send a, an email to, you know, engineering at microsoft.com. Like they got a lot of different engineers. Okay, say it is new feedback, okay? Because there's no option that matches yours. I'd pick inability to use my PC because the battery is dead, okay? And then for battery drain, drain issues, select sleep, click start recording, the button turns red, it will gather data, wait 10 seconds or so, then press stop. You don't need to go through the actual sleep process, nor do you need to do the screenshots. It may take a minute or two, and you can also put your computer to sleep during the process, then reawaken it. It will collect data across this process. Um, okay, and you can also attach a file, which is pretty cool. So, that's it. Click submit. And there's a forum post going over these steps because I have not done a great job. So that's going to be a way better place to go through this. And pretty much Alex is summarizing how you guys can help us help you help Microsoft help us. Yeah. So the forum thread is just called Windows Modern Standby Bug Reporting. Should be really easy to find. 
Um, yeah, I hope I hope this is legit. I have seen a tactic from large companies before where uh, when some type of journalism outlet, whatever it happens to be, goes after them for something, they respond in a very receptive manner and then never do anything about it because they respond in a very receptive manner in order to get good press out of the situation and then just move on. I hope that's not the case. I hope they actually try really hard to address it. Um, it does sound like a really annoying problem to work on. I do not, I would not want to work on this. So uh, it might also be that they work really hard on it and we don't get a fix very soon. So I yep. don't know. tough situation, but I wish them the best of luck.